Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is part six of Stray. We've escaped the slums. Does that mean we're closer to home? Maybe not geographically. Maybe we're going farther away from home. But as far as our journey to get back to our found family, or perhaps literal same, it's hard to tell with cats. They didn't look like they were from, like, the same. But sometimes you get, like, a large variety of cats in the litter. You never know. Um, yeah, this is Stray, and we are in Ant Town. I think it's about time we uh, wake up from our long nap. Yeah. So, on the last episode, a pretty big revelation happened. Uh... I'm sorry, I... I need a moment. I don't feel like talking right now. We found out that B12 was not, um, working with a scientist. B12 is that scientist. The scientist, um, transformed, or transferred his consciousness into a robot as his last act. Um... So that's a lot for for B for B12 to take in. They <laughs> they were not aware of that. Hey, hey there. Why can't I meet you? Ta Why is your meat grayed out? Weird. Why is everyone's meat grayed out? I want to meet you. Um what I'm really I'm here to see Zelzabar. Z Zilzabig. Yeah, for some reason I can't talk to anyone. Um, oh! It's because B12 doesn't want to talk. Um, I need, uh, I need B12 to translate for me. What else have I forgotten? I must have had parents, friends. What happened to everyone? I wanted to open the city, but is there anyone left even to save? Yeah, and this completely, like, this calls their mission into question. Like, when it was just a scientist directive, whatever. But now they're just like, I gave the directive. There had to have been a greater moment. And it's been hundreds of years. Like, they're much more personally affected by the fact that the humans might not be around anymore. So it's just like, what's the point, even, of anything at that point? So, yeah, I could see how that'd be disturbing. Um, well, I've certainly walked in a big circle. Uh... <laughs> Huh. You really like watching that? Weird. Just get my, uh... Get my scratches in. You're lucky there's not more cats. There, this would be mass destruction. Man, I can't even remember. Oh, man. Hey, have you guys seen Zelda? I already did. <laughs> Whoa! Wasn't expecting to go up, but all right. You get an achievement for jumping on that table, by the way, and disrupting their Mahjong game. The craziest achievement, by the way, is beat the game in under two hours. I might have mentioned that. That's the one where I don't know if I'm going to get 100% um, achievements. But I do want to get 100% finding everything in the game. What is this? Hey, don't you know not to interrupt a fellow during his transcendental meditation? Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. Their memories bring me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you helped find Doc and Clementine. She's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the only one who can get you there. Apparently, she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. Oh, look at that cute little picture. To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. 
It should be easy for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you will be the very first. I'd wish you good luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. Sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm human. Probably the last in the world. Now, look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? Maybe if we find Clementine, we can restore my memories, and I can get you back home safely at the same time. We can go back down and find out more from the companions, or head onward to Midtown. <laughs> I meowed. <laughs> they went, oh. You should go find Clementine. I hope nothing has happened to her. Do I have anything to show him? Just the picture. My old friends, I miss them all the time. Don't forget about the address on the back of the picture. So this is one of the few times that, uh... How do I items? Oh, that was talking to me. <laughs> Our next adventure is to ascend to Middown. I thought it was up on the D-pad. Yeah, they're not letting me check my items, that's weird. Bunch of Neki Nikos here. Hmm. Well, I don't think he's going to give me any more help. He seems to be happy where he is. Might have been meditating for eons, for all we know. This food is actually horrible, but it's the only thing around. I'll have to unscrew my foot casing if I'm going to keep on eating this trash. I don't know what that means. What do you... Wow, this is a weird robot. <laughs> Just, it's weird that some of them have, like, TV faces on the side instead of big ones in the center. People call me Tin Chef. I specialize in upcycling leftovers. Today's special, Ramen J52. With my secret ingredient, <laughs> that was not the number. <laughs> How did I get 52? That's not even like it to sl whatever. Uh, it was like it was too much brain energy to like re like say what the correct number was. So I just went for it. Uh, take that. <laughs> Now, I don't know if I want to spend an extraordinarily long amount of time here, but I know that there's a weird quest that I never did. Um, but a lot of the side quests, like, they don't really matter. You know, you get, like, an achievement. There's not, like, any in-game extras. The main thing that I feel like does matter, because there's a storyline enforcement to it, is finding B12's memories. Because B12 may, in fact, be the last human consciousness in existence. And in order to find all of their memories, like, that is a storyline directive that makes sense. It's a very storyline-oriented uh, collectible thing. More so than most collectibles in most games, I think. It has more meaning. It feels like it has more meaning. Remember. This language. The companion robots made it up from scratch. How impressive. I remember it happening when I was in the network. I don't know when exactly. But at one time, all the communication started to switch to these symbols. I was stuck in the computer and alone for a long time. So I translated every symbol and word, one by one, until I was able to understand everything. Now that I'm out, I know their language. I'm curious to hear all they have to say. Cool. Um... Am I just, for am I just forgetting how to access the... I don't know. I, I'm printing all the buttons. <laughs> I don't seem to be able to access my inventory. It's very weird. Huh. This electric zerk everywhere. Oh, he's asleep. Um, damn, I didn't look up the quest here. It has something to do with flowers. I think I need to find flowers. Hello there. It's been so long since we had a visitor. Well, except those damn Zerks, of course. Imagine if we could harness their power. Have them run in a wheel or something. Such wasted potential. That actually would make sense if you put something desirable and just had them run and run, because they don't seem to run out of energy. Well, maybe they do. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be like Great Aunt Clementine. I wish to explore like she did, but the grown-ups forbid us to leave Ant Village. 
it's kind of funny that they have um, child robots because they're all hundreds of years old. Again, it's just more robots playing the role of humans. Some of them decided to be children and went into those type of roles. Some of them decided to be adults, probably most of them. It's interesting. It's a, it's a really interesting game world and interesting AI where there was no, um... It's not like they, like, started being uh, post-apocalyptic or anything. They just... The, the humans disappeared, so they're like, I guess we miss them. Like, what's our purpose? Like, we'll, we'll just be like them. I don't know any story that's really done that before. Well, there probably is one. Did you know that there are more than 900 shades of white paint? Don't tell anyone, but I'm creating my own shade of paint. I'm calling it Garbage Brown. It's gonna be super aesthetic. <laughs> it's, it's gonna fit in with this world, I'm sure. Let me just help your art. Yeah, that's a Bonkers original right there. Beautiful. I do love the smell of fresh paint. It reminds me of... Oh, wait. I can't smell anything. How sad. Oh, no, don't be sad. There, see? You're good. <laughs> May is in her deconstructive period, so she says. I'm sure she'll become a great artist. If only she could practice elsewhere. <laughs> well, you know. Hey, can I jump up there? I want to help May uh, create some art. There we go. Beautiful, May. That's how you're done. Bonkers is a student of Jackson Pollock, you see, so... You know. <laughs> Already knows how to create great art. Now, if I'm really supposed to sl Yeah, there we go. Take purple fun. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, definitely... Up up on the D-pad is definitely how I look at my items, but it's just not letting me do that, which is, this is very weird. Um, I just need to find out who needs these flowers. There's three different types of flowers. So, the only reason I know this is because I was looking up other stuff, and I saw this quest, and I was like, what what the hell is this? Because <laughs> there's these different badges you can get, and if you get them all, I don't think anything happens. And you can never even see the badges that you have. It's really weird. You would think the badges would at least appear... Oh, wait! <laughs> you would think the thing that is actually happening would happen. Look, there's a badge. There's my music badge. And there's my outsider badge. Okay, never mind. There is a there is a benefit. It's a style benefit. That that's that's what I want. <laughs> I want styles. I want I want to be stylish. I just never noticed. Cuz I think I only got the two storyline badges. There's six badges, two of them you get automatically. I never got the music one. I think these are the guys that are looking for the flowers, too. Well, maybe not. Some of the flowers are right here, so. Yoink. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. I was a bellbot many cycles ago, but I've repurposed myself into a treasure hunter. Don't be fooled by the sound of it. It can be hard and gruesome. Just like this arm I found. Poor fella. May he rust in peace. <laughs> I believe there's other robots that say rust in peace, which is just delightful. So it's not these guys, but I have two of the three flowers. Um, I haven't really found out any information. Well, there's a lot of pollution. I guess that doesn't really matter to them, as long as the plants are fine, right? Robots like plants because humans like plants, so humans probably actually needed plants to breathe. <laughs> but we can tell that the environment's li livable because Bonkers is able to be here. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool town. It looks like this was just like a support structure, and either the humans or the robots built it into a town. Which is cool. Man, imagine having the the patience to be a practiced artist um, instead of stopping your art and making a YouTube channel. Which I don't think I regret, it's just sometimes I was just like, kind of wish I'd kept up drawing too. My skills have stagnated and a little bit degraded from when I was in college, but if I had spent these last 10 years drawing, I bet I'd be really good by now. But just, ah, instead I just uh, appreciate the art of others in my chosen entertainment medium. And the environmental design in this game, on point. Especially for like a smaller project like this.
The soothing sound of trash falling. Shimmering waterfalls. No danger. It's the blissful peace to work on my poetry. Here, listen. The mighty concrete shielding me in its womb. Shall you also be my tomb? You think it's too solemn? It's pretty solemn. I don't know if it's too solemn. I think, again, just like the person trying to make a paint color called garbage gray is appropriate to this environment. <laughs> Glad I came back up here. You gotta cuddle with robots. They need it. They want it. Well, that's all the flowers. Now, who wanted it? <laughs> who wanted these flowers? Uh, let's go up further. Cats using ladders. Alright, nothing over here. Up, up. Why can't I go up this ladder? Are you kidding me? Get it? Little little cat humor there. I mean, that ladder seems no more steep than the other ladders, is all I'm saying. I see no reason that I couldn't have just climbed up it. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? Did you know that Aunt Clementine taught us to grow special plants that can live without sunlight? I have a huge collection of them. Do you want to see? I'm still missing some colors, though. I'm missing a yellow one, a red one, and a purple one. If only someone small and agile could get them for me. There we go. So, this is the person who wanted them, apparently. That's a funny picture. I really miss Clementine, you know. Oh, that's one of the rare plants. Thank you. Could you find the others for me, pretty please? I love that color. Thanks, buddy. Oh, wow, it's so pretty. Thank you. You found them all. Thank you. Here's a reward. Take my badge. Yeah, plant badge. You look so good with it. Well, take care now. See ya, friend. Let's get... Yeah, there we go. Get them badges on, boy. It's very important to be stylish, even in the post-apocalypse. Especially in the post-apocalypse. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Tackled. Pff, I'm bored. Aunt Clementine used to hold classes here. We learned a lot of cool stuff. So bored he wants to go to school. My god. I mean, what is there to do here besides look for junk? Not much, I assume. I'm assuming that's gonna... bring me to a place I don't want, but I want to jump in it anyway! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> now that's just a good picture right there. Can I get the robot a bit more? Uh, I don't know. Screenshot. Yeah. Um, what? I haven't actually used any of my screenshots and thumbnails for this game. I keep on thinking that I will, though. All right, back up here. I really wish I could open my inventory so I knew if there was a um another memory here. I'll tell you that much. How do I get over there? I need to knock that paint off. It's a it's a special objective. Yeah. You're done. Bam. And these robots don't clean up. Boom. I'm making my mark on this place. Garbage gray. Get out of here. We're gonna get some primary colors up in here. Let me just... Even better. Let's mix the two. Yep, that's gonna stay there for eons. You gotta leave your mark, right? You gotta, you gotta make a difference. You gotta beautify the neighborhood. Who's to say a cat can't be creative? No one. No one has said that. I 
think that's the way out. Um, if I missed a memory, I'll come back. I, 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 I'm a little bit disturbed that my, uh, my inventory seems to be broken. Cool. So I guess I'm going to Mid-City? Is that a... Look, this is the subway station. I completely forgot this kind of transportation existed. You could ride anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning, after saying goodbye to my family at home. I remember. I was doing this for them, but they're gone now. It was so long ago. They wanted to see the outside. But does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? Anyway, we're near Midtown now. Let's find this Clementine. We have a picture of her. We can show it to some of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. Cool. It, it doesn't appear that I missed a memory, but I can't check and I don't get why. All right, I'm going to I'm going to restart the game since it just saved. I'm very confused. Yeah, so I'm going through chapter select. I didn't miss a memory. I just don't I don't see why I can't check. It's very weird. <laughs> but there are seven memories in Midtown, so we we best be careful. Because like at this point, even losing one of humanity's memories is kind of a pretty big loss, right? Doesn't seem to be a tremendous a lot in the subway itself. Nothing of note on the actual train car. Well, that's of note. Wow. I really, again, just with the art design, I you know, you can just like put graffiti on places, but like it's the layering. Uh, that's how real graffiti is. We went to this place in um, Massachusetts. It's like this this park that you're allowed to walk at, but there's also like old ruins. But it's pretty clear that like some local kids hang out at these. Uh, I don't know. It's just like these walls. I don't know what they used to be. But we we went there three years ago, and then we went back recently, and the the graffiti was entirely different. Like they just painted over what was already there, and that's a process. You just keep on doing that. No, I can't use Clementine's picture as a power source. Fine. <laughs> I can't even open the menu to look at the back of Clementine's picture. Maybe when I get to Midtown, the, the menu will be fixed. I don't know. I'm just very confused by it. Oh, but the reason I started saying that is look right here. You notice how um, this picture of this woman was clearly painted over the graffiti? Like, that's just this is, this is cool. Same thing here. The layering. You know, eventually you run out of wall and it's a really good spot, so you just you just go over what someone else did. Well, this place seems to rock. All right, not the most helpful, but thank you anyway. Oh, you embarrassed. All right. Well, love is a powerful emotion, but I wish you wouldn't reject it from me. Remember. There are so many books here. The Turning Test Legacy. The Ethics of Artificial Intelligence. I recognize some of these. 
Did I have a library? I remember nothing was quite like the smell of books and the turn of a page. It was a feeling almost like comfort. A book was like spending time with someone. 74% memory restoration. Hope you don't mind that I changed your music. All right. <laughs> Too shy. Too much of a shy boy. Well, Midtown was like the rich people's town, right? Doesn't seem to have helped the garbage situation. Cat coming through! Wanted, Clementine, Troublemaker, Outsider, Rebellious, please report any sightings. Clementine is wanted in these parts, so that's interesting. Don't worry about trash. Nico Corporation takes care of everything. You guys are the guns that made the Zerg. You're terrible and I hate you. I told you five times, Yosh. You can't run around like that. It's dangerous. Hey, this is the first time I've seen this robot. You look so furry. Oh, it's the girl on the wanted screen, right? You should ask someone else. I'm too busy with Yosh here. Looks like I can't talk to him. And no, I still can't use my inventory. <laughs> Very weird. Please state your identity. Cooperate or we will have to transport you to jail and reboot you. Please leave me alone. I'm not the one you're looking for. If you're looking for Clementine. I'm sure she's hiding in the resistance. Now that looks cool. Oh yeah. Good introduction to Midtown. I give that a out of 10. At Nico Corp, we work all day long and gather waste and send it downstairs where they recycle and repurpose it. Speaking of downstairs, it has been a while since we heard news from them. Yeah, no one can get here. <laughs> Cool picture, that one. Hey, is that an address on the back? First symbol is the street, and then the floor and the door number. Should be pretty easy to find. I mean, it would be if I could look at my freaking menu. Am I glitched? Is this a glitch? I don't remember this happening the first time I played this. It's not good. I do think I need to actually look at the back. I guess I can just look it up, but I'm... I'm annoyed. I'll say that much. I think I saw... Yeah, I see glowing particles over here. No? I thought I saw the glowing particles of memory. It must have just been your face. Sorry, little one. You can't play over here. The Nico Corp factory is no place for a little fuzzball like you. Access is restricted. But only for a little while. If you can wait a few years, you'll be able to open it right back up. Oh, okay. Well, I can't. My average life expectancy is like 15 years. I mean, for an outdoor cat, it's even lower, but... Who knows? Maybe maybe outdoors is now cat utopia, and uh, it's actually longer than... Huh! Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun! Are you reading the newspaper upside down? Why is the headline on the bottom? Anyway, I'm busy. What do you want? Buzz off, okay? Rude... Super rude. Why do I even need to talk to anyone who is that rude? <laughs> that wasn't rude. You should just walk where you're going, fool. Club's closed. Get lost. Oh, yeah? Who are you? The police? Everyone's looking for her. I didn't let her in if that's what you want to know. I mean, it seems like this could be dangerous that I'm showing everyone this picture. If I show it to the wrong robot, I might be in trouble. But I don't know what choice I have. It's the only lead I got. It's finding Clementine. 
I don't know why anyone would trust me, though, a random creature they've never seen before, but... Again, only lead I got. <laughs> Can I get up there? Be cool if I could. Doesn't look like I can get any uh, energy cans from the vending machine, so I don't think there's another shop thing like in the other town. There we go, I got up. Uh, was there a point to getting up, though? It was, to knock these bottles. Yeah. And the last one. It's important to be thorough. Alright, went through the pole. That's how powerful I am. Knock, knock. I don't know what the downstairs neighbors are up to, but I keep hearing buzzsaws and hammer noises. There's also a padlock on the outside of the door, so I don't think we're getting in there. <laughs> Did you hear explosion noises, too? Breaking ceramics, perhaps? <laughs> so are those the downstairs neighbors? Looks like I can't jump from this high. Yeah. Can't even knock. I am the cat who knocks. Alright, well, let's get out of this weird alley. That was fruitless. Not a single fruit. Looks like a clothing store. Are you one of those punks listening to loud music all day? Don't touch anything. Don't make noise. Don't ask for credit. Rude. Who is that? Their clothes look terrible. Send them to me if they want to look fashionable. Alright. <laughs> I don't know why it <laughs> said steel jacket. And he's like, nah. -uh. Where do you mannequins? Are these the corpses of dead robots? <laughs> They don't look any different than the regular robots, so... Maybe. Well, I don't have any item to insert there. Guess I'll have to look for all that. Ooh! Nice. <laughs> Pretty cool. Hi. Hello. No? Okay. Don't think he's gonna talk to me. I'm not gonna die if I run into this, am I? Okay. <laughs> I'm just very obviously not supposed to go there. But at least it didn't kill me. Do not proceed further. The access to the outside is fully restricted and the elevator has been disabled. The exterior is unsafe. Do not proceed further. He didn't really react that well. Uh, that guy doesn't seem happy, but I don't seem to be able to talk to him either and I can't go that way. I cannot proceed further. Someone must have seen Clementine. Have you seen Clementine? I just walked near the elevator and I got yelled at by the sentinels. For years we've been told that the surface is uninhabitable. We just accept this as fact, but why? What is this? Oh, a lovely photo. Huh. I think she looks familiar, but I can't be sure. My hard drive is a little buggy these days. Sorry, I can't help you. You should be able to ask someone else. You know what, my friend? Stay away from the Sentinels. They're vicious, and they got my buddy, Pablo. He's in for 350 years, so be careful, jeez. Oh, Clementine. If I were you, I would not want to find this girl. It's only a matter of time before she gets caught by the Sentinels. But keep asking around, and you'll end up finding her. Just know that you'll also find a little trouble. Thank you. 
More helpful than most, oddly enough, even though that wasn't helpful. <laughs> hey, can I get some grub? I mean, these all look empty, but... I'll ask anyway. What can I do for you tonight, Chef? Or is that Chief? Can't you pay me with real money? No, I can pay you with, uh, cat antics. That might, that might be a payment for myself more than you. I don't think there's anything back here. I mean, I've certainly not found any leads whatsoever, yeah? Ugh. Just a lot of a very similar painting. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of want I feel like I'm talking to everyone and getting nowhere. I'm going to explore around, I think. Oh, hey, I want to tell you guys look cool. Whistles. <laughs> Isn't it so cool right now? So chill. I think nothing bad could ever happen to us. But yeah, I know her. She used, I used to see her around a lot. I think she lives around here. She was always talking about leaving the city. I don't get it. This place is great. Why leave? I don't know. There just... There could be something more. Well, it sounds like I'm getting close if she lived around here. Um, but is it this way or that way? Let me just check this way real quick. I used to own a bar. It was the coziest place around here. Until I took a screwdriver to the knee and now it's close. I hate you. <laughs> your, your meme language is from 150 years ago. Even if this guy bums me out, he's my only customer. Try not to scare him away, please. Took a screwdriver to the knee. I swear that was a dark time in meme culture back then. Ugh, wasn't even funny the first time. You've been to the city below? I had a friend there. Fifi. I haven't seen him in ages. I don't think I met anyone named that, so... If that was someone I was able to meet, then... Alas. Oh, have I come full circle? Yeah, I've been here before. Alright, I clearly went the wrong way. Who are you guys? Hey, dumb face! We can see you too! Life is boring since the Sentinels put cameras in our residence. Hey, those tapes are ours. Don't you know not to steal? I could give you one, but you'll have to do something for... Uh, Gemma, Miko, and me. The Sentinels have installed three security cameras to watch over us. We don't like that. Can you get them off our backs? Uh, sure thing, Chicken Wing. Now, I believe I just need to jump on them. Uh, but you have to get at the right angle, so... Alright, that's one. There's one over there. Should be easy enough to get to. Oh, is it out? Yeah, it's out here. Hi, hut. That's two. These things are made terribly. They should probably use bolts instead of duct tape. Now, where's the third one? I don't even see it. Is that it? It's over there. Okay. They weren't all in that little circle. Of course, I should have taken this one out first, because the security camera would have seen me do that. But hey. Done. Booyah. <laughs> Let's get back down there. Where is the staircase? There we are. Hey, guys. What do you mean for you forgot your character sheet? I spent a whole week preparing this session. I'm sorry, I forgot where I put it. Let's play anyway. 
I'll go in that cave. Let's go. You can't just forget your character sheet, dude. It's not like you have robot-esque memories. Oh, snap. They rockin'. Yeah, poppin' like. Hey, I think Simon has something for you. Well done. I didn't think you could do it. Here, take your prize. You earned it. Cassette tape. Oh. Break it down. Enjoy our song. You'll love it. Now, did it actually... God, see, one of the things I have an issue with this game is that their checkpoint system sucks. So, like, it hasn't saved... I want to end the episode, but it has not saved in 16 minutes. If I uh, stop now, I'll have to do... Like, I'll have to meet everyone that I met. So now I need to look up the next storyline point before it saves. I don't know why they did it like that. I think there should have been periodic saves. Um, definitely, I, I, the reason I did this mission is I assumed that would be a checkpoint, but no. <laughs> um, so I hope they fix that at some point. Just like, I don't know, save every five minutes or something. That'd be cool. Even if nothing happened. Or if they decided that nothing happened, that, that'd be cool. Uh. You know, work is work, Slippy. Don't lose your head about it. Huh. <laughs> Oh, what is this weird feeling? Yeah, your face fell off, dude. That's what the weird feeling is. Well, I, I think I remember. Um, I believe Clementine lives in these apartment buildings. And you know, there's these dashes and, and numbers. I'm supposed to use the photograph in order to figure out which apartment she lives at. However... My menu will not open, so I can't do that. Um, I'm going to look up if this is a glitch. Who are you? What are you exactly? A quadruped making cute sounds. I like the concept. There's an address behind it. It's just there. Huh, what's that song? Ugh. Why did this happen? Well, much to my sadness, and I guess I should have looked it up sooner, it looks like the only way to... F and it is a glitch! This was not... <laughs> this has happened to people, and it is a glitch. I did not encounter this the first time I played. I don't know why I encountered it this time. But it looks like I have to restart the chapter from, um, from the menu, and then it'll work. So I'm definitely going to lose everything. Um, so let me go find the, the point that I wanted to end at anyway. Woo! I'm just gonna have to talk to everyone again. Sad. Whatever, I'll do that before I record that. Here we are. <laughs> I wanted to end the episode here. Because I remember it as being the cutest sleeping scene in the entire game. You hear the purring? Let the purring take you away. I'll restart from the chapter, which is lame, but I'll do it. Thank you very much for watching. This hasn't been one of my more popular series. Is. I think it might be because each playthrough isn't going to be that different. And I missed the buzz around the game. So I, I'm willing to bet a bunch of people saw it and were like, either one, not interested, or two, like, I've already seen it. What's he going to do that's different? Which is, you know, not much besides do more than I bet a lot of other people. I bet a lot of people didn't talk to as many guys as I talked to and haven't tried to get all the badges. But uh, if you're listening to this, you're one of the people that actually were interested, and I appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by and sharing this experience with me. Thank you, as always, to my patrons. And I'll see you guys next time as we uh, can hopefully open the menu and actually find out where Clementine lives. 
All right. I'll see you guys later.